two on one and you're the one. Hey Team Shot Science, Coach Tom here today and I want to show you how to defend against the dreaded two on one fast break. Every player at one time or another will find themselves defending against a break where the other team has numbers on them. You might think this is time to really start panicking because you have to either guard against the ball handler or stop the ball. In which case he'll dump it over to his teammate for an easy two. Or you can drop off to defend against the pass which will leave the ball handler with an open lane to the basket. Either way, you're going to give up a fairly easy layup, and they'll be high-fiving it down the floor before you know what happened. However, there is a third option that we call the break breaker that throws a major hitch into the offensive attack. The first rule of the break breaker is to fight the urge to fall back under the basket. If they bury you that deep, you're already in prime scoring area, and you'd be forced to challenge their shot, which can lead to fouls and potential and ones when you could have shut them down two steps earlier. So to do that, you're going to have to challenge the ball handler early and stop the ball. And here's where the real trick comes in. You want to make a convincing one-step hedge fake toward the attacking dribbler and convince him that you're committing to guarding him, which forces them to react because you've caught them off guard and now they're compelled to do something. And chances are they're not ready to. And what you'll find a lot of times is they'll fumble the ball right into your hands or even boot it out of bounds because they thought they were in control of the situation and would have a chance to make the move when they were ready. Or they might pull it together and toss a pass over to the teammate by that time, you've already fallen back into the pocket between the two players, ready to pick off the pass attempt. And if they're able to take the ball up for a shot, chances are good that it isn't a quality attempt, and you're also in the right place to contest the shot. So with that simple hedge toward the attacking ball handler, you can shut down the break before it even has a chance to get to the basket. Or at the very least, you will alter the quality of the drive and put the odds in your favor. Just remember to not shrink back under the hoop and wait for the ball. Step up and make them do something they're not ready to do. So that's the break breaker and how you shut down the fast break when the other team has numbers on you. Make sure you stick around for the comment question in just a second, but if you need more information on defensive skills and techniques, you can click right up here. It would also be awesome if you could take a second to like and favorite this video and share it with friends. And while you're down there, answer today's question. Which NBA duo would you most want to shut down on the fast break using this technique? What do you think their reaction would be? Let us know your answers down in the comments and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Okay team, you can click right here for our playlist on defensive skills and techniques. Lots of good info on shutting down, stealing, and generally frustrating your men. Our tips and tutorials are right up here in their own playlist, and you can join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus by clicking on the annotations. Come talk to us, ask us questions, whatever you want. Also, you can click right here for our blog on Google Plus for lots of extra tips and basketball knowledge. We've also put the links to all of this stuff down in the description for anyone that can't click on the annotations. Now get to work.